So we got that ready. Whoa, that was delicious. You're welcome. <laughs> My goodness. Hey, Ken folk, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Uncle Nick. <laughs> I'm Derek, executive bourbon steward. I'm Nick, certified bartender. All right, Grandpa Nick's ready to get in here. Yes, I am. boy, sir. All right, sir, are you ready to whiskey? I am ready and able. Woo, let's go. You know what we're doing, folks. It's a blind. We have no idea what's in that glass, what's in the chug jug behind me. So we're going to try to discern it right now. Ooh, lovely. Mm. So it's a very light color. It is light. But where would you say? Because I have the amazing color chart we can't read off of. So the color chart, this is about a... Uh, wait. <laughs> Yeah. A chestnut Picasso cherry. <laughs> wow. Chestnut Picasso cherry. Okay. I don't know if I read that right. I don't know either. It's too small and I didn't feel like putting it on my glass. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Let me read it. Hmm. It's got a fruity nose. It smells wonderful. It's got that lightness. It's got like a little floral note going on in there too. Um, definitely some type of a fruit. Yep. A light bit of honey, it smells like in there, like the, the like fresh honey. I was going to say like a honeysuckle. Okay. Hmm. Alcohol contents in there. See, yeah, it's, I don't think it's that high though. It's not like, you know, other ones that we've tried where it gets you like right before you get down into the actual glass itself. So I, it's got a lovely nose. This one really is. It's very light. Um, yeah, definitely the baking spices and stuff. Yeah, there's a little light spice, definitely. All right, I'm going in. Yeah, go in for a sip. Let's do this. Whoa. Wow. We've had this before. It's, well, I think it's coming off as some of the other ones that we have had. I don't know if we've had this particular one. It may be the style or the type that of, of whiskey that it is um because i'm getting like that stilling going on but it's got mm. that light fruitiness to it it's got that honeysuckle it's got a little bit of spice it's got a little bit of everything going on in it it's a lot of barrel it it almost it, it, it tastes like history <laughs> like it basically like i feel like it's been sitting for a while inside of a barrel and this this hmm. this is a story behind it now See, the problem is I'm, I'm kind of going, well, it's really. Really coats your mouth really nice. Yeah, it does. It's um, it's got the legs going. Let's check out the leggings. The legs were running pretty fast. Yeah, it's a little thin there. Yeah, I'm getting a little peatiness. Yeah, there is um, a, a light, there is a very light malty peatiness going on in the back. It's like the back of your tongue is when you get it. I'm put some water in here. See if it Can opens. I tell you what I'm between? It's interesting because if it's scotch, it's definitely a space side. Like I'm getting those space side notes from a scotch, yeah. But I'm getting the Irish like realm in there too. So um, again, it depends on the stilling, and I, I that's the that's where I'm at in there too. I'm, I'm kind of there, but um, that it, uh, the water didn't hurt it, but didn't really open up anything else for me. No, I, I there's some flavors that are very apparent. That I think when you read, we're gonna be like, "That's what it was." But there's, there is one flavor in particular that's very top heavy, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I know there's the fruit notes there because I love that. But there's, like I said, it what it's not a barreling though, like because I said it was barrel, and I think that that's in there. But there's yeah, something the else. Okay. There's something else that I can't figure out what it is. All right, I'm um, Irish. I went Irish. Ooh. Um, I went four out of five. I really still liked this one. I want to keep sipping it and I want to break it down more. Like I I've been giving some high scores with some of these recently, but like this one really is like catching it for me. I'm, I'm loving yeah, you. it. Nice. Uh, um, the H2 no, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing the benefit from it and coming in at maybe a 43%. I'm, okay. I don't know. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the same realm of you. I went 
Japanese. You went Japanese. I did. I gave it a 3.75 H2 no and 43% alcohol, same as you. Um, I think that's where the alcohol is on this. I'd be interested to see when I open up the chug jug what we got. So let's it open is. up, see what we got going on in here. And it is, oh no, all right. Um, ah, it is a scotch, sir. It's a Balvenie 14. Belvaney, 14 year I Caribbean knew it. cask. I knew it. I knew it. I Caribbean knew it. cask, my friend. Oh, dude, right? I knew it. I was like, I've had this. I know these notes. I know this. Oh, man. I'm so. Dude, that is, it's, mad. it's really good. The Balvaney is a really it is. good whiskey. So, probably, you know, it's that rum cask, the Caribbean cask, rum cask finish. So, um, it does have a finish on it, you know, which will give you some of those sweet notes going on in there and a lot of that stuff, those sugars and whatnot you're getting pulling out. I mean, this one's delicious. It really is. It's really good. I, so it it's, really, remember I said I could taste the barrel. It's the yep. rum cask. That's what it is. And I tasted it in the Glen Levitt one I have, in the Mount, the um, the Glen Kinchy private mm -hmm. edition I have. Um, they all that that rum, that rum cask barrel has such a like unique flavor to it um, with those melon flavors and the banana and yep. the uh, honeydew melon and the um, all those like amazing aromas with like a little bit of like a rum spice in there too and like those like you know rye spices almost in a way yeah perfect blend I love this um, you know so I'm happy with it but I but I was almost debating putting Irish for this just because of the fruit notes and all that that was going on with it you know yep. I have to read the notes on this, and that'll help yeah, us out. Yeah, you do. And folks, don't forget, subscribe, like, share, tell everyone about us. Come on down. All in the links down below. And you can find it all down there in the description. And you're going to kick yourself for this one because you nailed it on the head. The Belvaney 14-year Caribbean cask, Speyside single malt scotch whiskey. And you even said, this is coming off like that space side that we love. And you, you were 100% correct. I, I know this bottle. I yeah. knew it the minute. I, it was like the High West episode. I yeah. knew this bottle. 86 proof, 43% alcohol. So we nailed that the alcohol percentage. Um, age 14 years, mash bill is 100% malted barley. Um, distillery is Belvaney. Parent company is William Grant and Sons. Um, the, Bal the Balvaney Caribbean cask 14-year-old single malt whiskey has been matured in traditional oak whiskey casks for 14 years and then finished in casks that previously held Caribbean rum. To create an ideal finish, Master David C. Stewart, MBE, filled the American Coke cask with his own blend of select whist Indian rums. When he judged the cask to be ready, the rum was replaced with the 14-year-old spirit and the wood was put to work adding the final touches. The result is an exceptional single malt whiskey with, excuse me, with the traditional smooth honeyed character of the Balvenie married with notes of toffee, hint of fruit with warm lingering finish. Um, the nose on this one, rich, sweet, and cream, creamy toffee on the nose uh, combines with fresh fruit notes. So we, we, kind of, we, we had that, we had the fresh fruit going on there. We had floral, we had a little bit of all. Um, the palate is rounded with vanilla and sweet oak notes with a fruity character that develops with time. It is soft and lingering on the finish. So it is a really good whiskey all the way around. And they didn't price even break down like we did. No. Uh, no price for this, yeah. Price for this bottle, 46 Now I'm going off memory because I have my thumb over this right now. And I'm trying to think of it like the last time I want to, I want to say, I think it's like 55, 56 bucks. I'm going to say this is a bottle before you even say the price that everywhere I've gone has had a different price. There's yeah, no it's, consistency. It's, it's kind of like, price. it's like a five to $10 difference to places yeah. you go. But I think I'm still on the last place. Let the finger up 62 99 for this, depending where I got it from, you know, at the time. So um, all the notes were for Balvenie and a Wikipedia for the notes that I got off of it. So, nice. Do you have anything else, my friend, for this one? No, nah, it's delicious, and I've suggested it before. I'll suggest it again now that we're doing this episode at this moment. Um, the Caribbean cast friends are really good. If you ever see one that says that it was in a rum cask or a Caribbean cask, I highly suggest getting it. If you're like me and love those sweet flavors, they're never a letdown. I've, I'm I'm four for four with finding cask ones that are from the Caribbean or rum casks and they're in amazing. General. 
Yeah, yeah. Those, the, the rum cask, those those casks, that cask <clears throat> finish itself, whether no matter what whiskey it is, I mean, it always adds some amazing notes to the whiskey that you're drinking. You know that that comes off some of those stronger, nice that that fruity the and the sugars that come from it. It, it really, really good. So this was a really good one. I enjoyed it. I'm going to stick with my 3.75. Nick would probably go want to go 10 out of 5 on this one <laughs> now that he knows what it is. I'm, I'm happy with my score, but I, I I probably would at least go up to a 4.5. I love yeah, this. So. So. so here's hoping that everybody finds a little bit of luxury in an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Woo! If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.